So good morning all we are our uh, perfect with insulin yesterday's topic. Yes. So yesterday we were speaking about insulin which is the anabolic hormone. That anabolic hormone used to what it used to do on the carbohydrate metabolism, fat metabolism, protein metabolism, what it used to do, it increases storage of the energy particles. So here is a hormone, okay, the endogenously produced corticosteroids are the ones which are involved in increasing the blood glucose level. Okay, so it is something like a counterbalance to the insulin. Okay, so yesterday we told that our carbohydrate metabolism, what was happening? Insulin, it used to promote the enzyme which converts this glucose to glycogen and stores in the liver. And here are the uh, corticosteroids which do the vice versa, that is they convert glycogen to glucose. They increase the blood glucose levels. So all at most of the steps they are counter regulatory to each other. Insulin was increasing the fat deposition, decreasing the metabolism of the fat. Here is a corticosteroid which will increase the metabolism of fat and increases the blood glucose or blood sugar level. Okay, so this with this basic idea we will try to find out what are the various features on which we will be depending on. So from where we get our corticosteroids in the body? Adrenal gland. So in the adrenal gland it is under the influence of ACTH. What is ACTH? Adrenocorticotropic hormone. And it is from the master gland. What is our master gland? Pituitary gland. So pituitary gland indirectly controls the release of this steroids. Okay, by with the mediator of ACTH. Okay, ACTH is under the regulation of who controls pituitary? Hypothalamus. Okay, so to, today we will be learning those slides and brushing up our basic physiology and try to find out how this steroid is synthesized in the body and what is its roles. So, we in the adrenal gland we have cortex and medulla. Cortex is again divided into G, F and R. What is that? Cortex is divided into zona, glomerulosa, F for fasciculata and R for reticularis. So, today we will be learning those things. So what is the first slide telling you? Where we can use these steroids? Where these are drug of choice? Are you getting any idea where we can use this? Yes? So everyone is interested about this diagram. How do you get your body shape? Cut the mirror to fit your body. Okay. So or shape your body so that it will look good. So here what is this? It is a type of allergic reaction. Here you can see this in fine. Okay, in all this condition, we can artificially use this and the people who found out that these steroids can be artificially used to get the beneficial effects got Nobel Prize. So this is about the brief introduction. We will start with what is this and what are these adrenal glands. So what this adrenal gland produces, they produce various classes of hormones each of which aid in dealing with the stress related to the animal. Okay, so do we remember what are the stress related hormones our body releases? Fight and flight hormones, what are those? Epinephrine, norepinephrine, along with that, what else can get steroid? There can be release of this cortisol. Okay, so yesterday we told that at the time of stress, you will get release of this corticosteroids within the body from the stimulation of this adrenal gland. Okay. So they will counter regulate and increase the blood glucose level. There are two types of it, okay, glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. So here just try to find out, okay what is this, this diagram is not so good but it explains most of the things ok so we explained about GFR ok this is the adrenal gland and we are explaining about the adrenal cortex ok in the adrenal cortex what is GFR